Welcome back in. Scott Cole, Nick Mazetsko along with you. And we got a lot to talk about today in sports. And boy, I mean, always a good weekend in sports. But we try to look forward on the show. We try to preview what's coming up. If something crazy happens, like, you know, last time we were talking so much about the All-Star game and maybe the lackluster of it. But really, this has been a slow, slow week for sports. Uh, when you have the MLB and the players' discussions and possibly games getting canceled, et cetera, et cetera, being at the kind of the top of the list of topics, you know, it's been a slow week in sports. Yeah. I mean, it, it's one of those that like, I don't know why it's just sort of that weird window we have pre NCAA tournament post NBA all-star break that it seems, it seems like the NBA games, a lot of blowouts this week. It seems like teams haven't quite gotten back into gear. We're not in playoffs anywhere, you know, mid season of hockey. And yeah, what we've got is the, the, the major league baseball, lockout and I, man when you have to talk about you know things like lockouts and player strikes and missing games it's really a depressing topic to be talking about in what march is usually such a fun month of sports sit there and be like well i mean like right now i'm in arizona this is when spring training was supposed to kick off this week and they're all canceled and everybody's sad here i mean well not that sad it's 75 degrees and beautiful but there's no you know i don't get to go watch the third string cleveland players play yeah, so, yeah, we're missing split squad games right now. I mean, how, uh, heaven forbid. Uh, but I mean, it's a thing where apparently the Players Association is even more unionized than they've ever been, even since the 1994 strike. So, and I think the big thing is, is you know, the players to get these, you know, to get these seasons in for these last couple seasons dealing with COVID, they've taken some pay cuts and. Now they're looking for like, hey, we'd love to get see some of more of this revenue. Yeah, there's so much that's going into this. And I know it's like it's really easy. The buzzword that you see people put out there is billions against millionaires. And, you know, here's the thing with all that goes into it. And baseball already has the most complicated salary cap. We see it's a soft cap with a luxury tax service time and, you know, arbitration. And I'm just throwing out buzzwords at this point. And, and most people have already zoned out. I think that's the tough part is that, you know, we're listening to these negotiations and you're seeing the reports come out about how you know major league baseball has made concessions here the players association has made concessions here and i think the grand majority 99 percent of the people who don't pay attention to baseball or aren't that hard into baseball are watching this going i got nothing like it, this is not as simple as you know i want more wages and more cut of revenue there's just so much that both sides are trying to negotiate that i think that's why it's maybe fallen a little bit to the wayside i feel like not a lot of people even though it's a slow week yeah, yeah. this is like fourth on ESPN like the, it is buried on a lot of these news sites because I just and don't I think, think people understand the, it and the want playoffs to talk are about over it. uh in the NBA and the NFL drafts way past uh it's like just give us somewhere to go this summer where we can have a hot dog and a beer if you haven't figured it out by then then we'll get on board but you're either hardcore right you're either all in you can't wait for pitchers and catchers to report or you could care less Right. I mean, maybe you care about your hometown team and where they're at and and hopefully, you know, they're not out of it by the time that you care, uh, which has been the case a, a lot of times in baseball, which continues. to It's just ugly. Right. I mean, the bonds and Clemens things, this Hall of Fame thing, this holier yeah. than thou afraid to change all about tradition. Well, you know, what's it worth if you're not playing? Just play. You're making millions, billions. Just play. Well, and what's. And, what, and the crazy part is, I mean, this is, you know, this doesn't even get into what Manfred has been looking for over the last 10 years, which is trying to recapture that casual base, that casual fan base with things like, you know, the new extra inning rules by putting somebody on second base and pitch clocks and shortening the amount of breaks. I mean, they've been trying to capture this group of people who have fallen out of love with the game of baseball because it's too slow. There's too much going on. I don't really want to watch it on a Saturday afternoon. I'd rather go play with the kids. And this is only going to hurt them more. Now, now the number one thing that people are going to think about baseball is canceled no. games because there's no way this deal is getting no. done without losing some sort of regular season game. They've already missed spring training, which, you know, we laugh at split squad games and all that, but you know, in Florida and in Arizona, this is where, you know, an activity that parents take their kids to and have some fun out there at the smaller ballparks and, meet some of these players and now they're going to miss some those games and they're going to miss some of those regular season games the pr nightmare major league baseball has right now i don't know if they could uh, ever recover they've been from trying this. to recover for a long time <laughs> you know moments of greatness right flat yeah flashes they've in the pan right the, the all-star game is never <laughs> what it has been i mean it's just that that part's kind of over and we've kind of just fallen out of love and i and i think a little bit of some of it is hey we're in a twitter highlight world right i mean it's uh 
We much rather watch Ja Morant go crazy. We'll get to that in a moment. Then, then deal with this stuff right now. It's like, there's so there's too much going on, right? Video games yeah. have taken over streaming services. I mean, when you, when you would you rather watch a nine inning game or binge four episodes of Yellowstone, I mean, people are going to watch Yellowstone. That's uh, I hate to hate it. Boy. And, and by the way, you want to talk about the tough part? Have you, have you yes. like major league, the show, it's a fun video game, three but nobody actually plays a yeah, nine three. inning game in that. They all play like yeah. the shortened four or six inning. Cause no, even they don't yeah, want to play you a hit nine inning game. Head. And I don't know, maybe we should go go to three innings. I don't know. <laughs> uh, 